The McMaster announced a state of emergency to make funds available to combat the spread. It comes as a Camden woman has been diagnosed with the virus. The total number of positive cases in the state up to 13. And the city of Greenville also announced a historic decision tonight. Our reporters are both in Columbia and Greenville. We'll head first to 7 News reporter Melanie Palmer. She's in the capital city after that governor's news conference. And Melanie, we carried it live, and the governor covered a lot. Amy, three powerful and important words that South Carolina's Governor Henry McMaster just muttered. That state of emergency. Now, what that means is additional resources will be available to help battle the spread of the coronavirus here in the state. And one of the first things on that checklist is closing schools in the counties that are believed to have possible cases of the coronavirus that were contracted through community spread. Now, those counties include Lancaster and Kershaw counties. And as for other schools in the state, that's still up in the the air. The South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control con to consult with the Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman and local school district leadership to provide guidance on if and when remaining school districts should decide to close schools and for how long. Other than these school closures, visitation to correctional facilities both locally and statewide are also being suspended. That also applies to nursing homes and assisted living facilities. And of course, there are exceptions for end of life situations. Now, there was also talk about testing kits and drive up options as well here in South Carolina. That's something President Trump mentioned earlier today when he declared a national emergency, saying they would make these drive up options available across the entire country. When that would roll out here, in South Carolina is still being reviewed by health officials. Live in Columbia, Melanie Palmer, 7 News.